final round, and I will gladly go to bed after this video. But this is going to be my early review on George Clooney's new movie, The Boys in the Boat. <clears throat> so I was lucky enough to see this as an early screening last night. So let's talk about it. And this is based off of the true story that featured the Washington Huskies junior varsity rowing team. And their dream was to become participants in the 1936 Summer Olympic Games that took place in uh, Berlin. So, this is just your underdog sports movie that has everything under the sea that you see in these movies. Just a bunch of training montages and a disgruntled coach who doesn't believe in his team, but he comes around in the last leg to help his team win the big event. I've seen this movie millions of times, but I am a sucker for these types of movies because I do like a good underdog sports movie. But this one featured rowing, which is a very obscure sport, nonetheless. But I really did enjoy the story quite a bit. And Joel Edgerton was your coach. And there were like eight men in this boat who just like defied the odds and won gold during the 1936 Olympic Games. So, there's really not much else to talk about with this movie. It's just your Rudy and Race and even... Uh, Hoosiers, I believe, and even Seabiscuit. All of these movies, their stories took place in like the 30s and 40s. And Race actually featured the life of Jesse Owens. And he was actually mentioned in this movie, which I thought that was a cool Easter egg. So, yeah. I really don't have much else to say about this movie, but it's due out on Christmas Day with, God, you got Ferrari and the color purple both coming out on Christmas Day. This weekend you have Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, and you also have the Iron Claw, which I am very excited about. So, hope you guys, well, before I say that, I'm going to give, as a whole, the boys in the boat, I'll give it a B. Because it's a movie that I've seen hundreds of times, but I really do enjoy the story, and I do enjoy the characters, and like I said, I'm a sucker for underdog sports movies. But those are my thoughts on The Boys in the Boat. Hope you guys enjoyed, and my next video, more than likely, will be an Aquaman and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom dual review.
So I'm hoping to watch Aquaman on Wednesday and see Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom on Friday. And I'll definitely have that video out for you guys Friday night. Or film it Friday night, then have it out Saturday. But after that, you have the Christmas weekend coming up. So, I might film a special Christmas movie review on Christmas. But I haven't decided that yet. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and like scrap the Christmas horror because I haven't seen that many Christmas horror movies. Instead, maybe later on down the line, I'll do like a top 10 holiday horror movies. I definitely don't want to scrap that video as a whole but like I said I haven't seen many Christmas horror movies so I don't really have a top 10 but hopefully you guys understand that and we're also getting down to the end of the year I gotta figure out my top 10 best movies and my top 10 best books and I'll also have a book haul sprinkled in there somewhere. A drawing of the three book review. A Stephen King TBR. And a Stephen King ranking as well. So I still got a lot of stuff to do throughout the rest of this year into next year help me <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get as much a, as much content as I can out to you guys before the end of the year but other than that I'll see you guys for my dual review on Aquaman and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom alrighty I'm gonna hit it adios peace